So the NBA regular season has drawn to a close, and now we're able to evaluate in retrospect the entire seasons of the MVP candidates. According to NBA.com's MVP Power Rankings, these are the top five MVP candidates, each with their own unique cases. Jason Tatum of the first seeded Boston Celtics at number five, Giannis with his typical productive campaign at number four, Luka Doncic with his historic stat-loaded season at number three, Shea Gilgis Alexander of the first seed of Thunder at number two, and the defending NBA champion Nikola Jokic at number one. When I woke up this morning, I thought I would be giving my perspective on who this year's MVP should be. But I gotta be honest, after stewing on it, I have no idea who to pick, because the award no longer has an identity. Some of you might be confused by what I mean by that, so let me start with the basics. The winner of the annual MVP award is determined by selected members of the media, and this has been the methodology of determining the winners since the 1980-81 season. In that sense, the league MVP has been consistent over the last 40 years. From 1989 to 2016, every single MVP winner was on a top two seeded team in his conference. That's 28 straight seasons of NBA voters following a very specific formula to determine the award winners. Essentially, the formula was about giving the award to the best player of the very best teams. From 2017 to 2023, four out of the seven MVP winners didn't even play on a top two seeded team. In 2017, Russell Westbrook won the award on the six seeded OKC Thunder, thanks to his tremendous triple-double season. In 2021, Nikola Jokic won the award on the third seeded Denver Nuggets. In 2022, Nikola Jokic won the award again, but it was on the six seeded Nuggets. And in 2023, Joel Embiid won the award while he was playing for the third-seeded Philadelphia 76ers. In recent history, we've literally had more MVP winners who were not a top-seeded team than ones that were. As far as why this change and methodology occurred, honestly, I'm not so sure. A lot of reasons can be speculated over, but the reality is the voting system isn't as consistent as it once was. Some may say that's a good thing, because the past system was too limiting. And although I understand that logic, we still need a somewhat understandable definition of what the voters are looking for. Because otherwise, it seems like people are simply picking their own personal favorites. Clearly, the award is no longer on the basis of the best player on the best team. Because if that was the case, a six-seeded Westbrook and Jokic wouldn't have been able to win in 2017 and 2022. If the award is simply based on statistics, then why are most people ruling out Luka Doncic this season for being a fifth seed, when Jokic won the MVP just a couple years earlier on a worse team? Well then some might say that it's about advanced analytics, which is why Jokic is the current frontrunner over Luka in this modern season. But if that's the case, then why was Joel Embiid the MVP last year when Jokic bested him and basically every advanced stat while having a better team record? As you can see, there's been no consistent logic to the award whatsoever. If you want to give the award to the best player overall, I'm okay with that. If you want to give the award to the best player on the best team, then I'm okay with that. If you want to give the award to the player who's literally the most valuable player to his team, then I'm okay with that. But what I'm not okay with is hopping from one determining factor to another on a year-to-year -year basis, completely devoid of any consistency. Ultimately, I'm happy for any fan base who gets to claim their guy as the league MVP. But as a Lakers fan, and as a general basketball fan, I don't have a dog in this fight. So if you ask me who the MVP should be this season, my answer is, who cares? Until the league decides a consistent formula, they can simply pick and choose whatever narrative they want on a year-to-year -year basis. Let me preface this by saying that I don't think this would ever happen, but what I would love to see is the NBA League Office releasing a statement on how the voters should determine the award winners. Is it actually the most valuable? Is it best overall? Is it most statistically impressive? 
Does the team record still matter? Does defense even matter? Those are the clarifications that I would like to see. So I want to know what you guys think. Not only do I want to know who you think is the most deserving MVP this year, but I also want to know what you think is the proper formula for determining the MVP winner. I look forward to hearing your thoughts in the comment section below. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more basketball content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.